All right, welcome back to Get Out the House, Go Fish. Today I'm going to be actually going over how I transport uh, my Hobie Pro Angler 12 and my Outback together in the back of my truck here. I know everybody has their own little thing, the way they do things, but uh, this is by far the easiest way I have found uh, on how to transport uh, both these kayaks together. So, uh, first you're looking at uh, the, the tools that I have uh, to transport the actual kayaks there. I have my hand, just a lock I bought from uh, Home Depot, and you see the uh, extender there with some uh, uh, noodles, some extra thick noodles I got from Walmart. I just cut them up and put them right on the bar there. And then I have a little cart there that uh, it's not, you know, it's just a little, uh, it's less, it was less than $50. So uh, I'll put a link uh, for all that stuff down below. And I uh, hope y'all uh, enjoy watching this video and just kind of, well, all right, let's get started. All right, so I'm just picking up that bed hitch extender there and uh, putting it right in there into the hitch there and, oops, dropped the lock there, so. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. So I'm trying to line that hole up. You had me out there with you, huh? That's true, I should have had Katie out there with me. Now I got the truck running, I mean, hey. All right, so give you a better view here. Um, how you gotta line that hole up, so you can see right through there. Just kind of line it up and kind of slide it in through there. Just stick it in there. Yeah. <laughs> Come around the other side and lock it in place there. There we go. Good to go. So I'm gonna drop the tailgate down there. And then I'm we'll gonna put the sides on that bed hitch extender. That's right. That's good. <laughs> and those just, I like those because they're real uh, adjustable. And I put it on the uh, farthest uh, setting there. And they're just pins that just kind of lock, lock it in place until I actually get the kayaks in there. And then I like narrow, uh, bring it closer together kind of see a better view there and how those kind of lock in place all right so now we're ready for the uh, pro angler there I'm gonna get the cart there with the wheels right now those are on sale right now on Amazon uh, links below for like $30 and some change which is really a good price for that way better than a hundred something dollars for a Hobie mm -hmm. cart but I like to get it right underneath uh, where the Mirage Drive goes, right in the, in the hole there. So, so line it up, get it right underneath there. And um, once that's lined up, I'll just go to the rear and uh, pick up the back of the Pro England. And then just uh, pull it right up onto the uh, hitch extender there. Lift it right on up. That was the one thing uh, that I was concerned about is when I got the uh, the pro angler, how how uh, heavy it would be, and uh, if it had any issues uh, loading it and unloading it myself. But uh, with those wheels, I mean, it makes it real easy. I can see I'm just sliding it right back right into the bed of the truck there. I'm not touching that. Okay, you want to say something about no, that? I don't know. Say okay. <laughs> I've already done something right Yeah. Here, so. This nice tight fit there. <laughs> Just stuck it in there again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get your Outback now. That's right. That better and usually, yeah, usually uh, Katie helps me uh, load that Outback up, but I'm just showing y'all that you can load these kayaks like maybe she's you because know because you don't really need a woman yeah <laughs> she might be inside fixing sandwiches and and finishing Cleaning up the house and well you know, doing my when we're about work. to go fishing you're you're like <laughs> making sandwiches and uh and stuff so that's right you gotta eat all right so see how how i'm putting the the uh oh also see that front rope there the handle uh, it can get snagged on that on that um uh, uh bungee on the bottom of the uh, pro angler so watch that as you're sliding the out back on there and you'll see how it clears the window there uh, if it was upright it would be hitting that window 
And so I had another guy on the forums tell me, hey, these things uh, sandwich up perfectly. Uh, and he told me, uh, you have much better luck uh, doing it like this. And uh, he also had a uh, pro angler and an outback that him and his wife would go out in. So um, it, it was almost like it was made uh, to be transported this way. I like this uh, hitch extender because uh, the way I cut those noodles, you, they have little holes on the top there, and uh, it's really nice for me to hook in um, those straps into, and uh, it secures it really well. I'm going to ratchet that down and then tie it off. There we go. Tie that down, and then. Um, I'll actually show, show you how to secure the sides. So I got one strap in the front and then I have uh, one on either side. And um, so I actually secure it or hook it in there to the side and then I go through where the Mirage Drive is and uh, where the Mirage Drive goes and I just drop it right down to the hole there and bring out the side. And then um, basically uh, hook it down to the bottom and uh, ratchet it up. Ratchet, uh, ratchet it up, you know, tighten it down. So yeah, just ratchet it. Mm -hmm. That's what you say. You said, I said you're so ratchet. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, you uh, just go on the other side, and uh, it's really a great way to to transport these kayaks like this. I mean, it's, I mean, they are—they don't move at all once you once you get in there, here, uh, get them in there like this. So I'm hoping uh, that I'm helping uh, someone out. Uh, you know, if you uh, are having issues, you're thinking about buying a trailer. You know, you don't need a trailer. You know, you can just use that hitch extender. And here I'm showing you where. Once I get uh, to the wherever I'm going, I take the kayaks out, and uh, let's say if I'm at the boat ramp and uh, fix and take kayak out fishing. Um, this is what I usually do, and I put the uh, this part into the back of the cab uh, or inside the truck uh, because those don't bolt down; they're just used uh, there by pins. So I take those pins out and then put uh, those parts into the uh, the back seat there while I'm out fishing. So no one uh, uh, takes that the, the end piece there. But you know, if someone had tools, of course they could just still take it. But you know, I figured just. Don't make it easy for them. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. And uh, y'all have a, a good one. And uh, Don't forget to like and subscribe. That's right. All right. Thank y'all.